I've had this little brownie camera sitting on my shelf for a long time collecting dust. And I was thinking that maybe there's a project in there someplace, and then the idea hit me. First I'm going to find the center of the top. I'm going to drill a hole in here big enough to accept the light socket. Next I'm going to find the center of the bottom. And this is where the rod for the light socket will come through. Now in order for this to fit in there with the socket in here, I'm going to have to remove this stuff right here on the top and the bottom. I'm going to put a block of wood in here to help prevent some tear out when I drill through. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. decided to add a base to it. Uh, it's a little bit taller than it is wide so I thought it would give it a little bit more stability and uh, it'll add to the lamp. I decided to carve out the base on my X-Carve CNC only for time and simplicity because I can carve out the holes and the groove for the cord. Now before I put any finish on, I'm just going to put a couple layers of masking tape on the center. Okay, I have all my parts together here. I have a cord with a switch on it. I have the finished base and my lamp receptacle and I cut a piece of threaded lamp pipe to length and one tip with that is take a round file after you cut it and clean out the inside of any burrs. I've already set the depth of the pipe with this nut. Feed it inside first. Take this part and thread it in. And then take the base and loosely put that on. And then feed your wire in. But first 
put the nut and the ring on. I'll leave this part loose for now until you make the electrical connections. You'll have to give yourself enough to come through. So that you can connect this part. Once the electrical connections are secure, you can pull this back inside and even remove this and give yourself room to work on connecting the rest of it. Once I put this part on, I cannot remove it because it's a one-way ratcheted system. So you have to make sure the connections are, are right. And that's locked in there. Now I can push this through. that in there and put the top ring on. Now, I don't think I have enough there, so I'm going to turn this down a bit. Until I have enough showing there that I can put this nut on it. I can just center the box on the base. I just use a square to make sure it's it's about right. Then carefully I have a hole in the bottom that I'm going to drill through and put a nut. And for the cord, I'm going to take some fast setting epoxy. And put inside here and I'll hold the cord down. Now to put it all together. found a decorative bulb. This is a 40 watt incandescent. Hey everyone, well that was another fun project. Just also wanted to show that I put some felt pads on the bottom just to finish it up and it won't scratch any surface and also wanted to mention that I chose to do the base on a CNC but there are alternative methods of doing things 
Uh, you don't have to do a base if you don't want to with a project like this. Um, if you chose to do a base, then you can use a router, you can use your table saw, you can use a drill to drill out the holes for everything. So I just wanted to mention that before I get a bunch of comments saying, well, I don't have a CNC. So anyways, um, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. Also hit that little notification button so when I do another video, you'll be notified right away. Also, I'm on all the social media. I'm on um, Twitter, Instagram, and also live on Twitch. And all the links will be down below. So thanks for watching. Take care.